Welcome back, guys. Update number 30. Two years and eight months, if you can believe it, of our ultimate paint protection film longevity test. And I tell you, things are not looking too great. So let's see how this past year's intense summer heat has affected these films. While you're at it, if you'd like to support the channel, all you need to do is hit that like button, subscribe, and of course, comment down below if you've used any of these films, install them, if you have them on your vehicle, and so on. If you're just joining us, please be sure to check out the entire series of each of these videos as there is a ton of work that goes into the research, prep, install, and continued testing of these. So as usual, we will foam everything down using Chemical Guy's Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse it, foam it again, wash it, and then rinse and dry before we inspect everything. So with that out of the way, let's see how things are holding up. So I will grab my Milwaukee M12 high color rendering index light so you can further see it on camera here. But this is after washing and drying and you can see visible difference. Premium shield, much, much different than some of the others. So let's look over here at Flexi Shield WSH. As far as the clarity goes, it's really not too bad. All of them have diminished quite a bit. So we're looking at, I guess at this point, what's better than the others. As you can see that Lumar SunTech, not too bad. Expel, of course it's always orange peely and it does have some swirls in it. The self-healing effect is gone on all of them. Moving over. Well, we're still on Expel here. Expel has updated their film since then, as has what you see here is Premium Shield. They have updated their film. Quite a difference. Hazy, discolored, even water spots. I don't know what else is going on there, but yeah, there is a, there's a huge difference there. Over to S-Tech. So that line in that film, that was in the film when we installed it. But S-Tech does not look too bad. Dino Shield. And over to 3M. You can see that a lot of a lot of water spots or something on that compared to S-Tech. And swirls as well. Over to Ceramic Pro. Kavaka. And I've been told that they have updated their film as well. Lots of water spots, lots of swirls. Big difference there. Hexus body fence. That's a black piece of vinyl under there, but Hexus is 30 days behind everything else. It was a little late to the game, but man, the clarity, pretty good and not a lot of defects on that film. So you can just look in the sunlight, looking for what looks the deepest. S-Tech looks pretty good and Expel Ultimate along with Lumar SunTech, maybe a little less, and Flexi Shield doesn't look too bad either. But yeah, Premium Shield, not, not looking good there. Hexus Body Fence, not too bad. And as far as the discoloration in the film for the clear part, you can see Ceramic Pro Kavaka. It was very quick to darken like that, like within I want to say four to six months it was looking like that. 3M, not too bad. S-Tech, a little bit more. Premium Shield, quite a bit of discoloration. Expel Ultimate, not too bad. Lumar, just a slight bit more. And Flexi Shield, not too bad. And Hexus is not too bad. I don't believe I show. Oh, well, yeah, I did. It's right here. So, yeah, Hexus, still some discoloration, but again, not too bad. Not too bad. And then finally, the boutique films from S-Tech. These are Dino Prism, Dino Carbon, Dino Matte. The Dino Prism, which is the upper right there, has some discoloration, as does the clear, well, the white carbon version of it. 
but overall not too terrible. So lots of changes there. You can see that they're diminishing pretty quickly. So thanks again for watching guys. We'll see you soon.